Hi, this is Cheryl. Welcome to Knit and Crochet with the Gilmore Girl. It is just after 2 a.m. on March 1st, and um, I'm having problems sleeping because I have been thinking about something that I've been praying about for the last week, and I really feel like I have to talk about it um, because I think someone out there needs to hear this. And um, so I'm just going to talk about it. This is not about knitting or crocheting. Um, so if you don't want to listen or watch, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> as most of you know, I have physical and mental disabilities. Um, and I was recently talking to someone. I'm not going to say who, whether this person was a male or female or whether this person was a family member or a friend or an acquaintance um, because I respect this person and I respect their opinion because everybody deserves an opinion. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. So I don't want this person, if this person is watching, I don't want this person to think that I'm gaining against them or um, judging them or whatever. But I was having a discussion with someone one day, and um, it got a little heated because this person made a comment basically saying that God didn't make me the way I am with my disabilities and that I shouldn't be proud of my disabilities. And... I feel that person is wrong. Now, like I said, that person has a right to their own opinion. And I understand what that person meant. Don't get me wrong. I understand what that person meant. Um, God did not create the disabilities. I understand that. If you are a believer or Christian, you know that sin was created by the devil and not of God. Sin is what created diseases. Sin is the reason why um, we live in a world full of pain. I agree with that. But in the Bible, it says that God knew us when, from the day we were conceived and when we were in our mother's womb. So I figure if God knew me in my mom's womb, then he knew what disabilities I would have growing up. And he knew what I would go through. So to me, saying that God didn't make me the way I am is almost like a slap in the face of God. Because he knew what I was going to be. He knew that I was going to have these disabilities. But God doesn't make mistakes. God did not create me because of a mistake. He knew that I would trust him and that I would get through life with these disabilities. And God created me the way I am for a reason. I may not know that reason until I get to heaven. And by then, I really won't care anyway. So, because <laughs> I'll be in heaven. So, who cares? <laughs> But, um, to say that I'm not proud of my disabilities makes me feel like I should be ashamed of them. And I'm not ashamed of my disabilities. I mean, I have type 1 diabetes. I have Tourette syndrome. I have joint problems, which basically fibromyalgia which isn't joints, bones. I have, um, what else do I have? I have ADHD. I have anxiety, depression, panic disorder. Um, I have chronic fatigue syndrome, and I have other disabilities that haven't been diagnosed yet. So I know what it's like to have disabilities, believe, it or, believe me. I did a survey once online, and they asked me all these symptoms of health problems, on which ones I have, and out of 50 of them, I had 42 of them. Yeah. 
So, what was my point? Oh, um, I just feel like to say I'm not proud of my disabilities makes it sound like I'm ashamed of them. And I'm not ashamed of them because there's nothing to be ashamed of. Because my brain is different than quote unquote normal people is no reason to be ashamed. Because I like who I am. I like how I turned out. My life didn't go the way I wanted it to. And I had a really rough life. Not as bad as some people. And not as good as some people. But I had a life. And I still have a life. And when I say I went through trials, believe me, I went through trials. I was told I was possessed by the devil by many people. I still get told I'm possessed by the devil. I got told about a year ago that I was possessed by the devil. I have been told I was stupid from the time I was about probably nine years old. I was told I was stupid. I was told by teachers that I would never amount to anything. I was told by psychiatrists that I needed to go on, I needed to take about a dozen different pills <laughs> because I was crazy. I was told by my boyfriend that the only thing I was good for was sex. I was not good for anything else in this world. So when I say I went through trials, I went through trials. And I know what it's like to be so depressed and so frustrated with life that I want to end it all. Because when I was 22 years old, I had just a week before this this one day, this one night, I had just quit school, quit high school, which was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And one night, I went to my medicine cabinet. It was about 9 o'clock at night. I went to my medicine cabinet, and I got out a bottle of pills. And I dumped them in my hand, and I got a glass of water, and I went to my bed. And I was going to end it. And right then my phone rang. And I knew I had to answer it. I don't know why, but I knew I had to answer it. And it, that was before caller ID people. So if I knew who it was, I would have answered it. But I did. I said, hello. And my mom's voice came on the other end. And she said four words that changed my life. And that was, don't do it, babe. And you cannot convince me that that wasn't God. That God hadn't told her to call me and say those words. And I spent the next two hours crying on the phone to my mom. And that saved my life. Because I would have killed myself. And that's the closest I ever came to it. But there's been numerous times in my life where I wanted to commit suicide. Since I was 11 years old. First time was when I was 11 years old and I was diagnosed with Tourette's. Actually, I was 12. And I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. And I wanted to end it. But there was always something that stood. Something that stood in the middle and just convinced me not to do it. And that something was God. Now, I don't know if you're a Christian or you believe in God. But I do. And that's the only reason why I'm alive. 20 years later. So. My point to all this. Is that because, because of all these trials and things I went through. I am a stronger person. I have faith in God. I trust God. And this. I was not happy until about a year ago. So 
38, 39 years old was when I realized that I don't have to be ashamed of my disabilities. God made me the way I am because I'm a good person. And I should be proud of myself. And I am proud of myself. I went back to school at the age of 37 and graduated from high school at the age of 38. I have never been prouder of myself than on that day I crossed that that stage and accepted my diploma. Proudest day in my life. And I wish my mom was there. And I think she was there actually, but <laughs> she was she had passed away. And I know that I have become stronger. I trust God a lot more because of my disabilities and because of what I went through. I am more caring towards people. I am, I know more about mental disabilities and physical disabilities. I don't judge people. I don't, um, I accept people who they, for who they are. I have met some wonderful people because of my disabilities. I have actually been in the psychiatric unit in the hospitals, two different hospitals, three times for two weeks at a time. And let me tell you, I have met the most wonderful people in those hospitals. They, <laughs> and let me tell you, some people that have psychiatric problems are like the most wonderful people. And, um... I think, I really think I would have been a snob if I didn't have these disabilities because I would have been the person who was laughing and making fun of that person with Tourette's if I didn't have it. So going through what I went through, I don't laugh at people anymore. I don't judge people. And I can't say it would have been like that if I didn't have my disabilities. So yeah. I am proud of my disabilities because I'm proud of who I am. And I'm I'm proud of what I went through. I am proud of making it out on the other end. And I'm not saying I'll never go through that again. I'm not saying I'll never want to take those pills again. And I'm not saying I'll never be depressed again. I can guarantee you I'll be depressed. And I can guarantee you I will always be on medication for depression and anxiety. And other things. I can guarantee you I will. Because I feel. There's some people that feel like. You shouldn't be on medication for mental disabilities. Such as depression. And such such things. My thoughts on that. If you would take a pill for arthritis. To help you live better. A better life. Why wouldn't you take it for your brain? Because just because my brain's different than your brain doesn't mean that I don't need help with my brain or you don't need help with your brain. A brain, Our brain is a part of our body, so why wouldn't we take care of it just like we would take care of our joints? So that's how I feel about that. <laughs> so I know I will always be on medication for my disabilities. I take nine pills a day. I used to take 30, so that's a lot better, but I take nine medications a day. I take... Um, about eight shots of insulin a day, because I take two different insulins. And I'm not ashamed of that. I'm proud of who I've become. And to say that God didn't make me the way I am, to me is just ridiculous. Because no, God didn't create the disabilities that I have, but he knew I was gonna have them. So he prepared in my heart, he prepared me to deal with it. And he helped me through those times. Because I never would have made it without him. And I don't understand how people can go through disabilities without God on their side, without having God in their heart and trusting him. I don't know how they make it, to be honest. I don't know. I would never have made it without God, without Jesus. And, um, yeah, so those are just my thoughts. I... I know I've been rambling on, and you may not watch the whole video, but it was heavy on my heart tonight, and um, 
I mean, to be ashamed, show me someone who's ashamed of their disabilities, and I'll show you someone who's not happy. And God wants us to be happy. So, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my disabilities. I'm proud that I made it through everything so far. And... I am not ashamed of anything about my life. There are mistakes I've made in my life that I wish I didn't do. But I'm, as far as mental and physical disabilities go, I'm not ashamed of myself. Because God made me this way for a reason. And to say that, to say I'm not proud of myself is like telling God I don't like who you made. And to say I'm not proud to say I'm not proud of my diseases and my disorders is like saying, God, I don't trust you. Because I have these diseases and disorders, so I shouldn't be happy. And that's not how I feel. Because I am happy. I go through depression. I go through hard times. Everybody will. It, God never said it would be easy. He said the road to heaven is hard. It is rocky. But when we get to heaven, it'll be all worth it. And I'm looking forward to that day. So, um, I just thought maybe someone might have had to hear that tonight. And you probably won't get this video until tomorrow morning. But, um... Yeah, so be proud of yourself no matter what disorders or disabilities you have. Know that God made you that reason, that way for a reason. And that he loves you and that he's there to help you through it. God bless you and all you do. Bye.